Hi everybody, hope you're well. I think you can see. My windshield, wind, wind, windshield for my Blue Yeti. Um, I tried to buy a windshield for this and I couldn't find one big enough. Um, and there was one I think on the internet for £25 and I'm like, £25 for a piece of foam that goes around my microphone. So I've made my own. I'll see if I can show you it. This is it. And this is a fast sponge I've actually got the sponges over there. Um, I got a big car sponge, like those ones, chopped it in half so I had like a big sort of square and just hacked at it. It's not flush, it's not pretty but it does do a job and it cost me 15 pence rather than 25 pounds. Today I am going to be showing you my rather embarrassing collection of CDs. Um, I've had a few requests from people to do DVDs but I won't be doing that because I only own four or five DVDs so showing five DVDs in a video would take a few minutes. If you're wondering what those DVDs are Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill, um, The Labyrinth, Elf, and Santa Claus the Movie, which was free with a newspaper. They have my five DVDs. So. I have two of these cases. I don't know if anyone's enjoying this sound. I don't like it. So I'll stop it. So this is my case. Um, I have two of these because I have a lot of CDs. I haven't bought a CD in a long time um, because of YouTube. I now listen to a lot of music on YouTube. Just type it in to a playlist and if I've got Wi-Fi I'll just put YouTube on um, and also because you download it from iTunes there's some CDs, I don't think any of them are in here um, I copy my CDs and then put them in the car the reason I do that is because I've had CDs and they're so scratched and they're useless so what I do now is I get them, put them on my computer, make a copy, and that's my car copy. Um, and then when that's scratched, I can make another copy. Because my car doesn't have like a USB to phone thing. So I have to use CDs. So, in here I have my um, little books that you get in the CDs. I don't keep all of them and the front covers I don't really keep but I've put some of the books in here. So, 
my um, cases are sort of split up into two. This one is the singles and albums, like normal albums, so um, these are my pure urban essentials which I don't these are the sort of um, you know where you get now 24 and I don't even know what number it's on now but um they're the ones I sort of buy but I never know what music's on them so they don't actually get listened to very much. My Westwood 3 album, which is okay, wasn't amazing in my opinion, it was, it was okay. Just moved the microphone a bit closer. So this is a Kiss Smooth R&B. And the first song on CD1, um, when this came out, was Beyonce, Me, Myself and I, The Sugar Babes, Lamar, Blue Cantrell, then I have Slow Jams, um, and Mario, Let Me Love You, was number one. Lamar's actually on a lot of these, he must have been big at the time. This one, Pure Urban Essentials. Um, when there's CDs like this, I tend to keep the back because it tells you what's on the CDs. Um, but the front I don't because it's just, it's just like a picture like that. I think that CD must be in the car. Or lost or not in the right place. Again. An R and B one, massive R and B. Then we have Usher, and I kept this. I like this. albums there. One is Confessions and the other is not actually um, an album that's just pop your collar, the single. That must be my boyfriend's because I've never bought a Nusha single. Um, my boyfriend didn't have many CDs um, so when we moved in together I just plonked his CDs near. Beyonce, I love this album in my car right now so the CD is not here but I love the front cover I love what she's wearing and there's a picture in here I don't love it I think it's that middle one where she just looks super sparkly and everything seems to sparkle this album um, I bought this when I was in Paris. Um, so this always reminds me of working in Paris. It's my Puff Daddy album. I love that. I think it was called Puff Daddy back then, one of his names. Records, so I'm going to assume his name was Puff Daddy. Here and here were um, the CDs for Justin Timberlake's new album, the one I got for my birthday last November. They're in the car, 
I actually put a few in the car the other day because I wanted something different. Then we have Justified, um, and that always reminds me of university because I bought it when I was at uni and me and my friend used to get ready when we were listening to it. Twister, um, I don't actually know too many songs off that album. There's albums in here and I just know I love every song of it. Um, and then there's ones where there's just a few songs and the rest are okay. Lamar isn't mine, they are my boyfriend's. Lamar's okay, I would say I'm a fan of his. Um, even back in the day, I wouldn't have ever bought his albums. He's got a nice, smooth voice. But. I don't even know who these... this is. Oh, it's R. Kelly. I didn't recognise the, um, the back. Again, they are my boyfriends. albums get listened to a lot. Um, not necessarily the CDs because I've got them all on my phone but I'm a huge fan of Eminem. I think he's just a lyrical genius. It's absolutely brilliant his work and he's one of the few artists who I still enjoy as much today as I did when they first came out. This album is um, Evolution. My brother bought me this for my birthday. I think it was my 21st birthday. He bought me that and at the time I wasn't an Eve fan. I liked some of her stuff but not enough to buy an album. And he bought me that and I was like, oh, I'll give it a listen. And I loved the album. I absolutely loved it. Um, so that's a, a good one that takes me back. Tiny Temper, I love everything on the album. That was one of the albums I bought and just each song, one after the other, was amazing. Same with Labyrinth, um, I absolutely love them too, especially when they work together. And they are um, the two people who I've actually seen in concert. I've only ever been to three music concerts. The very first was Tiny Temper, and that was... Where was that at? I think it was in Metro... Metro Radio? Radio Metro, Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle. Um, went to see him there. Then my second one was Labyrinth. My friend bought me tickets for the O2 Academy in Newcastle and we had seats to see him and it was a smaller venue and it was brilliant um, and then the third one is Rihanna um, and I went to see her at the Stadium of Light in Sunderland and didn't enjoy it it was it was just a bit rubbish we were so far away that I couldn't tell if it was her or a dancer on the stage um, and we bought our tickets pretty early on and my boyfriend and um, 
his family bought tickets after us, about a week and a half, two weeks after us, and they got closer than we did. I mean, we were literally at the back. Um, the speakers that we had kept on cutting out, so every time they'd sort of start working, you could hear how it should have sounded, and then it would cut out for about 15 minutes, and it would come back in for about two minutes, and it just wasn't very good. So, I do love her music, um, but that, that show was a bit of a letdown. Um, those two were really good, I enjoyed those. Rihanna, a big fan, got most of her albums. Um, I don't really buy albums from everyone, it's just if I have, if there's a cluster of songs that they release and I enjoy them, I think I'll buy the album. And E for Lock. It's in the wrong spot. It's got to go back. I'm a little bit OCD about this case. Because I spent a long time organising it, and when things aren't in the right place, I'm not happy. Black Eyed Peas album. Um, this one, <laughs> when the Black Eyed Peas first came out, um, it was at the same time I was working in Paris, actually. And I think it was a song with Justin Timberlake sang on. And I'd never heard of them before, and I thought they were called the Black Eyed Beans. <laughs> so I was looking for the Black Eyed Beans album, and uh, the guy in HME was like, oh, Black Eyed Beans. So they're really good albums, I love those. B2K, um, they're not mine. Chris Brown, which one is this? Chris Brown, this one is my boyfriend's, which is the Forever Edition. Not really fussed on that. Fame album was amazing. Um, I'm not going to get into the controversy of Chris Brown and his choices in his personal life because this video is about my music. Um, so I won't. But the Fame album was amazing like every song on there I loved and then when Fortune came out I thought it's gonna be just as good and I didn't love it um, there are some really good songs on there but it was nothing compared to that one um, what else have I got? Boys to Men Lauren Hill, Craig David aren't mine Although I do like uh, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, it's a good album. Pussycat, Doll Domination, it's a good album, I do like those. Then I've got my Snoop Dogg ones. These are my boyfriends, they're the last meal. And pay the cost to be the boss. <laughs> um, the one I've got is in the car at the moment and it's Dog Pound which is one of my most favourite albums ever. Um, and this is John Legend. Absolutely amazing, John Legend. Such a good voice, oh, and I love that album. Nellyville. Sean Paul, Dutty Rock. Um, yes, I think I bought Neo. Yeah, I bought that, but I didn't really enjoy it. Love Christina Aguilera. That's the, I think this was called the Stripped Album. That was really good. Um, my Jay-Z albums. Drake. Back in the day, that's, that's like a compilation album of loads of different stuff. Remember who bought that one? Backstreet Boys is definitely mine. They're really cool. It's an old album from when I was younger. CeeLo Green. Um, there's a couple of songs I adore on there. 
and Bright Lights Bigger City is one of my favourite songs, I love it. Even though I think the, the video was filmed in New York, it reminds me of Vegas. When I went on holiday I had that song on my phone and it just reminds me of Vegas. 3T. Oh, I love 3T. This was one of the, one of the first albums I bought when I was younger. And which one was it? I'm just going to test my memory now. Oh, even the CD brings back good memories. Me and my best friend used to, um, used to dance around on the bed singing these. There was TJ, Taj and Taro. And I think it was TJ I liked. I might find out if I'm wrong. How can I not remember? I could be murdering the names, I don't even know if that's right. I think it was TJ, the one I like. Not that one. <coughs> that's the one. I had a major thing for, like a major. And sometimes I look back and think, oh my god, what was I thinking? But I still look back and think he's old. Yes, it was, I've got the names there. Yeah, so that was TJ. And I had a major crush on him. And I remember watching um, their performance on top of Pops. <laughs> and, um, was it anything? 24-7? No, it was anything. They were singing anything. And one of them, I don't remember which one it was, but one of them had a hanky. And they were doing this thing where they walked around and they passed the handkerchief to each other. And then um, at one point one of them fell to their knees and threw the hanky into the audience. I just remember thinking, I wish it was me. What I would do with a sweaty hanky, I don't know. I'm not really um, a collector, like I don't, I don't collect autographs or anything like that. So I don't know what I'd do with a sweaty handkerchief, but back then I really wanted it. Daft Punk. Love, love, love that album. A lot of these albums I love because I listened to them when I worked away. And when I was younger, I had a job that took me to London, Monaco, Paris um, in the summer. And I bought some of these albums when I was out there. They always remind me of that time. Michael Jackson, Neil Seymour, love his music. Room 5. shouldn't be here. There's two Confessions albums for some reason. Will Smith, Big Willie style. Um, that's my boyfriend, but I love it. Keep. Good CD. Madonna. Craig David. That's one of the car ones I would have done. Don't know why I'm keeping it though. Who's this? That's an Eminem album. Sometimes on long journeys, I will take the whole thing, and if I'm driving, my boyfriend's in charge of music. So basically I'm saying my boyfriend doesn't put them back in the right places, which I think he'll agree with anyway. I 
and this is the Frank Ocean Channel Orange which is a great album and I think these are all empty apart from a dirty beach party Napa 2004 Sandy Bay nobody is watching that ever in fact I might destroy it there's nothing terrible on there just made it sound terrible now there was a beach party I went to in Ayanapa and there was a hypnotist and I got hypnotised and um, you know the stupid things you do when you're hypnotised you know the typical stuff so that's basically a DVD of me doing stupid stuff while I'm hypnotised um, Todd Davis international hypnotist different guy, a different holiday, wasn't me and I don't think that's a video of the show, that's a video uh, not a video um, a CD of something else, some hypnotherapy I think it was for phobias um, this, I have no idea how this is pronounced um, I was given this CD while I worked in Paris by the person I worked with and it's actually a really good song on there I used to sing that song in the car um, so they gave me that CD when I finished my job embarrassing ones. Oh, it's heavy. I'm gonna try and go through these a bit quicker because I'm taking too long and this video is going to be very, very long. There's no relaxing way of getting that open. It. I'm going to mark this battery as the dud battery. Back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Dipped it up a bit. So, we open this with the very, very first CD I bought. The very first tape I had was Take That. I can't remember what album. Um, but my mum bought me the tape that, take that tape and when I got a CD player from my brother this was my first album the history album and even today I love it Whitney, greatest hits, amazing swing classics got them free with something The History of Chill Out Ibiza good album just a chill out too though the love album this was um, this was something to do with cancer research Robbie Williams, she's the one the cause, run away Ronan Keating life is a roller coaster. I think this album was released for cancer research or something a bee fell uncovered it's more dancey than the chill out one um, 41 huge dance hits the box chicane featuring Brian Adams Aqua Cartoon Heroes Miss Club 7, you're my number one Daphne and Celeste Who Stick You Venga Boys Wow, that sounds like a fun album Hits 
54. Will Young and Gareth Gates, The Long and Winding Road. <laughs> Blaze and Squad Crossroads. Oh goodness, when was this out? 2002. C2, CD2 with bonus Will and Gareth video. Dance album. It's the best dance, dance album in the world ever. In fact, is this the one I bought for that? Spiller, Kylie, Brittany, Mel C. Fred McIver, Aurora, Bob Marley, Drew Shepherds, Five People, Moonlight, and Meryl, Madison Avenue, Mary Mary. I thought Teresa Mel Julie, Mary Rowley, Don Jones, Cher, Shepherds, Frank Boys, Baker, Frank Mal, Gail Wilmot, Frankie Mal, Aurora, Welcome Back to Rio, Morocco. This album. I remember this album. When I was 17, I worked away. Um, it was in 2000. That's when it was. And it was the first time Big Brother was on television. And there was a song released called Mojo Lady, which will remain my favourite song ever. I love it. I love it. Um, and I wanted that song. I couldn't get it on a single, so I tried to buy an album. And I can't remember what number it got to, but I remember buying this album thinking it would be on here. And it wasn't. Um, Spiller, Groove Jet, which is an awesome song. Madison Avenue, Don't Call Me Baby, Artful Dodger, Woman Trouble. It's actually a really good album. I love those songs. But I bought this album for Mojo Lady and it wasn't on it. So it is actually a good album. I will give it that. Rush Hour. I bought this for one song. <laughs> um, what was it? No, I didn't. Um, I bought this for a couple of songs, but the main song I wanted was Underworld, Two Months Off. I don't know why, but I just, I love it. If you ever, well actually don't, I would say YouTube it, but you might watch it in here and be like, ah, oh, it's rubbish. But it's called Underworld, Two Months Off, and I love that song, and I don't know why. But it's got Faithless Insomnia, Leo and Bushwhacker Love Story, which is an amazing song. Um, so yeah, I bought those for three songs, I think. Euphoria. As you can see, we're going through a bit of a dance phase. Further back we get, we'll go to Cheesy Pop. Um, when I was younger, I used to just buy singles. So the singles are really, really cheesy. Then 17, 17 to 19, I think I went through a dance music phase. Then from 19 onwards, it went to R&B, hip-hop. So I've got Euphoria, mixed by Dave Pierce. Smash It's the Reunion, really good um, music. Aha, uh -huh, Take On Me, Wham, Young Guns, Duran Duran. All the old ones, I love them. Now 56. I don't even know what that'll be up to now. Dance Masters, was this it? It was. This was the CD I found with more John. Dance Masters. It's number five on CD two. But this is a good song, a um, good CD. Rui de Silva, Touch Me. Planet Funk, Chase the Sun. Um, Fragma, Every Time You Need Me. Now 
83. I think my now 83 is actually quite recent. It must be if that's now 56. So do 2012. So it's actually quite recent I bought that. Wicked women. Oh no, this was it. Wicked women with a breakthrough breast cancer. So that other one must have just been a normal CD. I knew it was like a pink, pink one that had women on. Um, keep calm and relax. They are just, I bought them just to chill out too, really, when I needed to de-stress. The greatest number one singles. The best rock album in the world ever. This was a freebie. Now we get to soundtracks. Dirty Dancing, that was my copy of the original. This is actually, how did I copy this? Or did I? I have an LP of Dirty Dancing and I don't know if it's recorded from the LP or I bought the CD and did it for the car but I lost the original CD so that's all I have left. Titanic Witch. I think if we look in here is the original ticket stubs from when I went to see the movie and it's from a place called Robin's Cinema and for anyone who um, lives in Durham, or lived in Durham, you will, well, if anyone who lived in Durham a long time ago, they'll remember where Robin Cinema is. It's on North Road. I'm trying to think what it is now. I don't even know what it is. You've got the old, oh God, are they, are they even called that anymore? There was a nightclub cafe rock. Then further down, DH1. It's further up from Iceland, further down from the nightclub. I don't think it's called Cafe Rock now, I think it's called something else. But sort of in the middle there, there was a cinema. And it was called Robin's Cinema. And it was on the 14th of February. And um, I actually went to see it with my mum, I remember that. We both sat there crying. 14th of February, 1998. Oh my goodness. Screen one at three forty five in the afternoon and it cost two pound fifty a ticket. Holy wow. Two pound fifty a ticket. God, what is it now? I think to get in my cinema it's eight pound fifty nine pound for a basic two D cinema. Two D film. Ah, oh, it's cute. I'm glad I kept stuff out. I'm not a big um, sentimental keep things person because I think if you start to keep too many things it just becomes clutter. Yeah, but I love keeping little things that don't take up much room. Just keep it in there. £2.50. It's quite a good album that. Then we have Snatch. Amazing album. Can you even see where I'm pointing at? I don't know. We've got so Snatch is a good album. Romeo and Juliet. Love that film. Labyrinth. Need to say more. All time favourite film in the world ever. Times 10. I've got my Ludo t-shirt. There's a jumper out there that I'm going to get my mitts on soon. It's like a grey sweatshirt jumper with uh, the worm on. It says hello. But yeah, the labyrinth. And one of these songs um, is my... Alarm. 
figured out how to take a song and make it your alarm tone on the iPhone because I was sick of, you know, the harp. Um, so I've managed to make a song I want my ringtone and a song I want my alarm tone and I think it's hallucination. It is the beginning of hallucination. It only plays 25 seconds or something. So once it hits 25 seconds it loops. But that is my most favourite film. Not my most favourite soundtrack though. Um, Bridget Jones. It was okay, the soundtrack. Chicago. Love it. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Amazing. I always wanted to go to um, a Rocky Horror show and take the rice and the water and stuff. Love Actually, I bought that for university. Um, we needed one of the songs to use on one of the documentaries we made, so I needed to buy that CD. Pulp Fiction, again, amazing soundtrack, amazing movie. Bombay Dreams. I went to see Bombay, see Bombay Dreams when I worked in London. Um, and the person I worked for took me. Um, I actually took a whole family and I went to see it and it was amazing. Like I've seen shows but I'd never seen a show until that. And the only show that I've ever seen that's topped that was when I went to watch or Cirque du Soleil in the Bellagio in Vegas that trumped everything I've ever seen it was outstanding like the stage went from a floor to a super super deep swimming pool in a minute it, the whole stage just like sunk down and that show was that show topped it um, and I did go to see another one but it came nowhere near Save the Last Dance, cool album. Bad Boy soundtrack, that was my boyfriend's. Um, Project X, don't really know, it's a new one I bought, didn't really listen to. Ladies and Gentlemen, George Michael, it's a lovely album. Madonna, um, her celebration. Kylie, they're the the ones of all the old and new stuff, which I enjoy. These, what are these? Busted. I don't know why I bought the Busted album. I'm not being a Busted fan. I can only name one of them. Um, but I have it for some reason. I think it was when you, you know, you buy two CDs and you get one free. I think that was sort of the only free one available. Um, no idea, Mr. Writer. Oh, this is, um... Stereophonics. Not really a fan of the Stereophonics, but I do like some of the songs on that album. Spice Girls, Spice World. Love them. That's my childhood right there. That's actually my friend's CD. Um, a couple of Queen albums. Jerry Halliwell, Eurythmic. Something I think this is a CD um, that I was given it free in the street. You know when people are doing the the performance, they give CDs away. I think that was that. Savage Garden. Who are these? Oh, what are they called? Athlete. El Salvador. I think I only really like one or two songs off that album. I love steps. I used to dance, practice all the dances when I was younger. Glee. The Streets, that's my boyfriend's. I'm not really a big fan of Streets. I just can't get away with them. We always put it on on long journeys and I'm just thinking, oh, just hurry up and finish. Um, Olivia Newton-John, a couple of Britney albums. 
that was a really good album um, Kylie Body Language and Scissor Sisters, S Club 7 Tears for Fears, I love them um, one of my old school favourite songs I know I keep saying things are my favourite but one of my old school favourite songs is Sowing the Seeds of Love by Tears for Fears love it Leon Bushwacker, Love Story Jamiroquai, Little L, I still love all these Pharrell Fronten oh. hasn't aged one bit Pharrell I had a big thing, and maybe still do, for Pharrell and he just hasn't aged at all a bit like Will Smith Seventeen, and that's not mine. <laughs> Abba's mine. Um, Rogov can't get enough. AC James, baby likes us. I don't even know what these sound like. Sash, mysterious times. I remember that. Everybody's changing by Keen. S Club Seven. In a million. Rapture made. I have no idea what that is. Tatiana. Oh my god, I can't talk. Tatiana Ali. Boy, you knock me out. I remember that one. Notorious B.I.G. Love's got a hold of my heart stick. Some more steps, Natalie and Brulia, wrong impression. What's this? Roger Sanchez, another chance. No scrubs, TLC. All Saints, never ever. Ultranate. I remember. Was it Ultranate? Or was it someone else? I think it was Ultranate. I listened to that when I was 14, I think. It always reminds me of Talkie, randomly enough. Kevin Little turned me on. Great song. Charlotte Armour. Brilliant song. Nickelback. I don't even remember listening to them. Fatboy Slim 3LW. <laughs> Song that I still love. Freestyler. That came on um, the radio. I listen to Kistery a lot on my phone. Whenever I'm doing the dishes or doing something, I'll put Kistery on. And they played that. That oh, was so good. I actually listened to Martin McCutcheon the other day on YouTube for some reason. I can't remember why. I think I saw her on TV and I thought, oh, I remember that song, so you put it on. Louise, I listened to her as well. This is really weird. NSYNC, Girlfriend, top, top song. Hepburn, deep, deep down. No idea. of summer. M.O.P. Cold as Ice. Amazing song. Cooper Believe in Love. No idea. And I still like Emma Maybe and Rachel Stevens. Sweet Dreams My Alex. I can actually look at those singles and not be too embarrassed. I think everyone has something embarrassing in their CDs and Steps probably Steps is probably my most eee, embarrassing one I'm not even bothered, I don't care, I'm not embarrassed They were awesome I have a very varied music taste So, 
now after I have shown you mine now it's time to show me yours or tell me yours um, tell me what what the first album was that you bought like CD or actually it can be anything if it was a tape or an LP uh, let me know I would say my first album that I bought was Michael Jackson because my mum bought me take that so, what was the first album you bought? Um, what is still, to this day, your most favourite song ever? And what would you say you have in your music collection that might be seen as embarrassing? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. Now you know all of my music tastes. I will see you later.